All right, welcome back to Fast Gadgets. What if you wanted to install a kernel because you were having problems with the current version and you would like to try an older version of a kernel? Well, there's a couple of different things you need to do in order to do that. And to keep in mind, this is strictly for Fedora, although it's very likely that you could do it in Red Hat or CentOS. Um, possibly other versions uh, of Linux that use some derivative of Fedora or Red Hat or CentOS. But the first thing I wanted to find out was what kernels do I have installed? So if I run the command dnf-list and type in kernel, I can see that I have three different packages, uh, three different kernel versions installed. Now by default, uh, Fedora will keep uh, the three last versions of your kernel. So if I want to install a new kernel version, for example, if I did right now uh, DNF install kernel dash, whoops, excuse me, dash 4.5.5 5-300 which is an older kernel fc24.x86 underscore 64 it'll say first of all conflicting requests and in order to actually proceed I also have to do allow erasing so let's do that so I actually put in allow erasing and I still get the error conflicting request. What I also need to do is edit in Etsy and DNF dnf.conf and it's always a good idea to make a backup of any file that you're going to edit. Uh, in this case I'm going to take the plunge and go ahead and edit it because I'm going to do a very simple edit but uh, normally you would want to do a backup. Uh, so what I want to do here is change the install only limit and I'm going to boost this one up to 5 and I'll write and quit. Now when I run the DNF command I should be able to install the kernel. So now I will actually be able to install the older 4.55 kernel and it automatically installs core and modules And if you're going to do any kind of compiling of programs, you may need kernel headers, um, but usually you don't need it. I'm going to say yes to download. I don't know what's the matter with my internet connection, it's usually much faster. So it looks like I might be getting into an argument with Comcast. Okay, so it downloads the package, then it does the install. Once it's completed the install, how can we tell if it actually installed the kernel packages? Well, it's pretty easy actually. So it's doing the install. Now after this kernel is installed, one of the other things that we may want to do, um, because we get frequent kernel updates, we may want to freeze any future kernel updates in DNF, uh, but I did allow for up to five kernels, so I can actually get at least one more kernel before 4.55 would be deleted. But if I do DNF list again, and type in kernel. I now have a listing of four different kernels. Now the other thing I could do, I could run RPM and do a QA and grep on kernel and I can see all of the kernel packages that I have installed 
and look back at each one. So there's the four six kernel packages. There's my four five five kernel packages. Um, I may or may not need kernel headers and kernel devil. Um, not too worried about it right now. Usually a program will tell you if it needs it. For example, VirtualBox. If you go back to an older kernel, if you go to a newer kernel. So. Uh, now if I reboot I will get that list of kernels that I've just installed right here and I can select the 4.55 kernel and see if it solves my problem alright I've rebooted and I want to check and make sure that the kernels actually installed so if I do a uname dash R I can see that my currently installed kernel is 4.55 now we talked about freezing the kernel and I'm going to change directory to Etsy DNF and then I am going to make a copy of dnf.conf and I usually use MRK and it makes it easier for me to search on whenever I edit or change a file so it's kind of a truncation of my first name so now if I edit dnf.conf I can add a new line and I can say exclude equals kernel asterisk and escape. So this will prevent any updates of the kernel uh, and any kernel packages actually. So I will no longer get kernel updates. Used to be in yum, I would see the exclude so I would know that I wasn't getting it, but what was offered and available and I'm in VI so I'm going to do a WQ for write and quit uh, but basically what that means now is in my list of kernels they're gonna stay exactly the same okay ah yeah it doesn't have any packages to list because I disabled it so it's not going to do any more updates but if I do a uh, RPM query all and grep on kernel I can see that I still have kernel 4.6.3 and 4 and 5 installed as well as the test kernel that I have installed which is 4.55 normally you're gonna wanna be on the latest kernels anyway but uh, if you are having some problems and in this case I am uh, the problem being the flashing and I've read some uh, bug reports and a couple people recommended trying um, an older version of the kernel uh, 4.55 or 4.57 so we're gonna give this a try and see if it fixes the problem and that's how you change your kernel and how you add a kernel that is older or just one that's different hope you enjoyed watching Thank you very much. Like and subscribe.